Hey YouTube, JT here. Yeah, we're looking at another top five. This is going to be the top five um, firearms. My uh, pistol choices. Now this is not a request video, because I don't take requests. But it has been suggested. And again, this is something I've, I've been planning to do. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at the guns. My number one choice would be my uh, Springfield Armory. 1911 A1. This model is called a fully loaded because it has you know match barrel, match trigger, hammer, all the bells and whistles. But this holds eight and one. All right, my number two choice, a Glock 22. I've been carrying Glocks in some form or another for the past 15, 20 years. This I put in a, you see a lone wolf ported barrel. 40 Smith and West End. This one holds 15 and 1. Number 3, HK. Can't go wrong with them. This is the USP 45 Compact Tactical. It's also known as the Counter Terrorist. I think in some other video I mistakenly say this holds uh, 10 and 1. My full size holds that. This actually holds 8 and 1. And it's a similar well, it's safety system here. You can carry cocked and locked, just like a 1911. And this is a threaded barrel version. <clears throat> Instead of the threaded cover protector that came with it, I put on a titanium. Vortec flash hider. Why? It looks badass and it really is functional. Alright, number four. Another old war horse. Maybe just as famous as a 1911. These came out in around 1935. Browning High Power. I got two original mags, I don't know where they are. But I got an aftermarket mech guard in here. 10 and 1. Oh, yeah, and I, I didn't say it earlier. These guns are all clear and safe. I just didn't want to go through, um, you know, showing you each one like that. Number 5, Taurus Judge. This is the public defender model. Shoots uh, 45 long coat. And 410 shotgun shells. And they're not the standard old shotgun 410s. The old 410s had uh, three, I believe, 30 caliber pellets. Federal came out with a new defensive load for this gun. It has four pellets. I really like that gun, too. I know some, I know some of you guys are going to be curious. Uh, I got this about... Three years ago, seven hundred sixty-nine dollars. Glock here in Hawaii, they range between five, you know, five fifty to six fifty. I, I remember getting a deal on that one, four ninety-nine. HK, uh, thirteen hundred dollars. The titanium flash hider, another two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I forgot. The lone wolf uh, barrel on the Glock, about one hundred thirty dollars from the Glock store. Is Browning, in my opinion, is priceless. Uh, it's I've seen the price that I paid for it because it's so low. I mean, I got it from a buddy. Maybe I took advantage of him because he didn't really know what he had. But uh, that's how it goes, huh? Taurus Judge, about five, five hundred, I believe. All right, so that's my uh, top five choices. And then uh, people ask why I don't do shooting videos. Or in case you didn't know, here in Hawaii, one public range. You know, everybody's down there. You know, when they open, it's only open Wednesday through Sunday, I believe. I haven't gone there in a little while because I used to have access to another range when I worked at this company. But uh, and even then. When I worked with this company, it wouldn't look cool 
setting up a camera during the quarterly um, qualifications. And then here in Hawaii, we just can't go in your backyard, the woods, the desert, and, you know, bust some camps. Because, you know, 5-0 will be on you like uh, white on rice. All right, guys. That's going to be it for the top five for now. Yeah, we'll get back to some other videos later. Watch your six. JTL.